in this class we are going to see about the structure of an animal cell see this is the cell structure this is diagrammatic structure what you are seeing here the outer layer is called as the cell membrane and inside the cell membrane there is a fluid called a cytoplasm and at the center there is a prominent nucleus this nucleus is covered with a membrane called as nuclear membrane okay inside this there is a fluid called as nuclear plasm and this is nucleolus okay this nucleoplasm and cytoplasm together it is called as protoplasm and if you see inside the cytoplasm cytoplasm there are so many small organ like structure it is called as organelle each and every one functions differently okay just like our body organs so why it is called as organelle in the sense it is very minute so it is called as organelle okay but each and every one functions differently now let us see one by one what you are seeing here is the mitochondria and this is the endoplasmic reticulum there are two endoplasmic reticulum one is rough endoplasmic reticulum and another one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay what you are seeing here is ribosomes it is called as and this is golgi body okay and this is vacuole this is centrosome and this is lysosome let us see one by one see what you are seeing here is the 3d model of the cell structure what we have in our body our body is made up of millions of cells okay so this is the animal cell structure of animal cell okay this is what i told you no this is the nucleus and this is nucleolus the fluid which is present inside the nucleus is called as nucleoplasm the fluid which is present inside the cell is called as cytoplasm together it is called as proto plasm so all these organelles are present in the protoplasm including nucleus okay now see this is the centrosome centrosome at the time of cell division it divides into two and it moves towards the opposite pole and what you are seeing here is the mitochondria this is the vesicle or the vacuole this is vacuole and these are the golgi apparatus let us see one by one okay what you are seeing here is endoplasmic reticulum this is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum and this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum why why it got the rough endoplasmic reticulum name in the sense there are so many particle like structure you can see here it is called as the ribosomes okay here there is no ribosome so it gives the structure smooth so it is called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum let us see the first one that is the first organelle is the nucleus this is very very important which one acts like a brain okay in our body brain is there just like that in cell it acts like a brain okay let us see the structure this has a outer and inner membrane the nucleus has outer and inner membrane this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane and in between there is a gap it is filled with the fluid and now see there is there is a gap gap now it is not actually the gap it is a pore a small holes will be it is called as nuclear pore okay inside you can see a thread like structure which is called as the chromatin which is made up of a protein that protein is uh, you can see okay see this one this pore is the size of the pore is 100 nm nanometer and inside the nucleoplasm there is another important structure is called as nucleolus nucleolus chromatin fibers this nucleoplasm everything takes place takes part in protein synthesis okay and the protein which makes this chromatin is called as histones okay histone next i told you the chromatin chromatin fiber during cell division they condense and they form the chromosome then this chromosome divides into two chromatids okay two chromatids these two chromatids joined at the center which is called as centromere and one arm is short that is called as p arm and the next arm is long that is called as q arm okay during cell division these two sister chromatids they separate they separate and one part will go to 
one side and another part goes to the opposite side and form the new cells okay Now coming to the mitochondria, this is the structure of the mitochondria. This is a complicated structure and it is double membrane structure. And this is the outer membrane, this is the inner membrane. Outer membrane is smooth whereas the inner membrane has so many folds. This is called as cisternae. It's called as cristae. Cristae, inside this cristae there are so many particles. Those are called as F1 particle. Okay, the length of the mitochondria is 1 to 2 mu m and the width is 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 mu m. And what is the function of this mitochondria in the sense cell respiration? So, during cell respiration, it produces the ATP molecule. ATP molecule in the sense adenosine triphosphate. This is the energy, energy molecule. And this energy molecule that is ATP will be produced inside the mitochondria. So, why? This mitochondria is called as the power house of the cell. Okay. And uh, see what you are seeing here is the ATP molecules. Okay. This matrix is filled with enzymes, respiratory enzymes. Next one, it is Golgi apparatus. Okay. What is the function of this Golgi apparatus in the sense? Protein synthesis as well as lipid. Okay, it packs the lipids and proteins and sent to various parts of the body. Now see, this is Golgi apparatus. The structure is cisternae. Cisternae, it is a tubular structure. Okay, if you cut open and see this, there is a lumen inside. And, uh, and how it is packing the proteins and lipids in the sense, it forms a small vehicle-like structure. This vesicle then detached from the body of the Golgi apparatus and then it moves freely. Okay, so this one secretory vesicle this inside the cpc there are so many proteins okay proteins or lipids will be packed and sent to various parts of the body the next one endoplasmic reticulum i told you there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum one is rough endoplasmic reticulum and another one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum see what is here the rough endoplasmic reticulum in the sense you can see the particle like all molecules which is present or attached on the wall of the endoplasmic reticulum and it gives a appearance a rough surface okay so it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum which just around the nucleus okay and this is smooth endoplasmic reticulum there is there is no ribosome so it is look like smooth okay the outer structure is smooth so it is called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum the main function of the endoplasmic reticulum is synthesis protein synthesis and it also in, uh, it also calcium storage takes part in calcium storage and lipid metabolism lipid metabolism okay the main function of this endoplasmic reticulum is calcium storage protein synthesis and lipid metabolism see this is uh, another organelle called ribosome Okay, ribosome. You can see this is the structure of the ribosome. This is large unit and this is small unit. And what you are seeing here, a chain like structure is mRNA. mRNA in the sense messenger RNA, ribonucleic acid. RNA means ribonucleic acid. DNA means deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, so this will be synthesized inside the nucleus and which comes out and come at the center of the large unit and the small unit. Here the protein protein synthesis takes place the tRNA read all those things and according to that it synthesizes the protein okay so this is the protein chain which which synthesizes in between the large unit and small subunits of ribosomes okay these ribosomes attach to the wall of the endoplasmic reticulum and which gives the appearance rough endoplasmic reticulum okay now see here this organelle is called a centrosome. Centrosome is present near the nucleus. Okay. So, at the time of cell division, the centrosome divides into two centrioles. Can you see here? It is clearly, it is given. Okay. This, these are microtubules attached, attached and they form the centrioles. So, these centrioles move towards the opposite poles of the cell during cell division. 
and i told you the chromatin fiber condenses and forms the chromosomes these chromosomes are arranged in the center of the center of the cell and this centrioles they produce a spindle fibers which attach to the centromere and when it contracts the sister chromatids are pulled towards the opposite poles of the cell and which forms a daughter cells so the centrosome is very very important at the time of cell division this divides into two centrioles and move towards the opposite poles and attracts the sister chromatids towards the opposite side by forming spindle fibers okay now this is very important another organelle is liposomes lysosomes okay what is this lysosome in the sense it is a membrane bound structure what is present inside in the sense digestive enzymes are present inside the main function of the lysosome is at the time of cell damage it at the time of cell damage this will this will engulf or destroy the worn out cells not only destroy the worn out parts of the cells it also destroys the virus and bacteria okay so thank you that's all about the structure of the cell thank you thanks so much